In this video, I'm going to look at the local outdoor environment and think about how we could use it to either teach learners new vocabulary or consolidate language that children already have, but in a new context. Different ways of doing this, for instance, taking the children on a sound walk. So the children could go outside, they could have a wee kind of a checklist with them. Um, here's an example of one. And then they could see if they hear these things and if they do, they can tick them. You could have taught them these words um, in another language before you go out or when you get back. So either way. Another option is to look at tying in with something like the Big Family Bird Watch, um, where the children can uh, learn the words for birds in their own language then perhaps do this in another language and use the resources that are already available. Um, for instance, on this um, website by the RSPB to identify birds. And obviously you can use that as a way then of consolidating language they already have, like descriptive words, such as colors, parts of the body, whether it's big or whether it's small. Could also get learners to create a fact file. Here's one that a P2 child did of a bullfinch. And they did this in English first of all. And then could use that to maybe start to teach some words or revise words in French. At this level at P2, you wouldn't want them to then try and write the whole thing in French, um, not unless it was heavily supported, um, because they just wouldn't be able to do that. Um, but as they go up the school, you could give them obviously a word bank, you could give them a gap fill activity, um, give them a writing frame with sentence starters to help them. You could also get them to draw a picture and label it in English or in French or both. And you could also then use an app like Chatterpix to turn it into a talking picture. And they could actually pretend to be the bird and use the I form, je, or the he or the she form, il or l, and describe the bird um, using vocabulary they know, such as I am big, je suis grand, I am red, je suis rouge, etc. And you could turn it into a guess who game. Here, I'm using Chatterpix to set the children an activity, and this could be done um, and shared with them online for a homework activity, for instance, or in class. Um, so I'm going to play it, and you can have a wee listen and see what you think. And then maybe you could try to uh, choose one of these activities to do yourself. Bonjour. Here's a fact file of a bullfinch. Activity one, read the text and try and remember two facts. Activity two, read the labels on the picture. How many of these words do you know in French? Activity three, make a list out loud of as many colors and parts of the body as you can in French. Activity four, choose your own bird, write a fact file and draw and label a picture. Okay, so maybe you could Try to do that with your learners. Have a go and see how you can use your outdoor environment to teach new language, but also to revise language they know. And you can do that either before you go out or after you go out. Just trying to integrate it all together. Bon chance.